that? Who's that? Who's Who's that? <laughs> Southwest Airlines baggage handler. What happened to you as an entrepreneur? I just made month. 100K in the corner of a next $100 billion company. That's it. Who's in your corner? What's the five people that's around you? If you know more about money, all of a sudden you're the most popular guy in the room. If you're sleeping on PHP, you need to wake up. These are a company that pays you more than what you're worth. I'm extremely excited that the Dallas Cowboys player came out of the locker room and actually played with yes. us. So ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Yes. You yes. running back with Dr. Marcus. <laughs> What's cracking everybody? Money Smart Guy Matt Zapala here, hailing to you from the Dallas Cowboys Stadium here in Arlington, Texas, home of the Dallas Cowboys. What's up, Roman? Hey bro, bro, are you having a you guys having a blast well, out I'm here? I'm having a blast. Oh, Tell the dream. Yeah, this is crazy. We're literally the only people in the United States right now that's in the Dallas Cowboys Show me a picture. Show me a picture. Yes. Oh, so what's interesting about this, Roman and Jacenia here, Roman Gago's Jacenia Sanchez from Sacramento. Entrepreneurs crushing it in Sacramento. And when you have progress in your business, when you do things in your business, Destiny says, you know what? Thank you for listening to me. Here's an example of how Destiny has interrupted his life and said, you, make, you gotta make sure you're here at Dallas Cowboys Stadium. Roman, what you guys show them? This, this is me, my first outfit. I was born a Cowboys fan and it's just crazy. Like, thank you, Pastor, thank you, PHP. And That's a Troy Aikman jersey. Yeah, <laughs> Aikman's. And now you're here. It's crazy. That was his baby picture, now he's it's here. Crazy. It's crazy, it's too exciting, man. It's too exciting, look. If you're sleeping on PHP, you need to wake up. What about people sleeping on entrepreneurship, working oh for themselves? Oh my God, you gotta do it. How old are you? 22. Jacenia? 20 years old. How much money you guys made so far this year, 2019? Over 30,000. At 21 years old. 22 years old, 20 years old. Crazy stuff for your proud of you guys. Thank you. Whatever, whatever distractions came your way, you gotta analyze what, what caused me to get distracted. How do I anticipate in the future and I shored up this distraction so it doesn't become a distraction again? So, hey, let me, let me show you guys something here. So that, that's the star, you see that 50 yard line? Let me show you something. One of the biggest jumbotrons in the entire NFL. Let me show you something here. Speaking of Danny Sixon, there you go, Danny Sixon right there in the jumbotron. That's the biggest jumbotron in there. Who's that? Who's that? Who's, who's that? <laughs> Crazy stuff, man, come on. Are you kidding me? Crazy things are happening. Listen, I'm just a United States Marine, got out, decided to choose a path of entrepreneurship. I'm nobody, got no pedigree, no college degree. No inheritance, no wealth to talk about. But somebody put my feet on the path of entrepreneurship and stuff like this is happening. Look at our guest speaker at our event is President Bush. Kobe Bryant. Oh, check this out. They got me on blast. What? They got us on blast. What? Kidding me? Speaking of which, Danny. Bro. So are we live? Are we live? Yeah, yeah. Danny, I know you came from World Financial Group, man. Now you're here. Man, what uh, is there a difference in culture here, man? That's an understatement. Understatement. It's an understatement. And, and, and this is not even a negative. It's, it's not a negative, so don't take it as one. It's a unique experience to have a CEO that's in the trenches, that's fanatical, not just about growing the company, but growing the people in the company. I've never seen someone so on point when it comes to helping them 
understand their numbers, growing exponentially and challenging them. And then now I'm sitting here, I'm standing here on the Dallas Cowboy field. I have never gone to uh, a professional football game. <laughs> seriously, you're seriously. from San Francisco. Yeah, San Francisco. You, you're a 19 year Millbrae Sheriff. You never went to a San Francisco no, no, 49er no, game, Oakland Raiders. Never, ne never once a professional football game. And here I am standing on the field of Dallas Cowboy Stadium. And this guy and me, are. Faces are huge on the jumbotron above us. It's insane. It's surreal. What would, what would you say to people out there that are overworked, underpaid about the insurance industry and about entrepreneurship? How would you encourage them to look at a different way, like you do? Yeah. Well, first off, being just in the money industry allows you to open so many more doors. Because if you know more about money, all of a sudden you're the most popular guy in the room. Just understanding, it's not just your product knowledge or your understanding about the industry. It's more importantly, it's the people that you're working with. More importantly is the mentorship, the guidance, the leadership. And I just truly believe that if people just got out of their own heads, got out of their own skepticism and come to the most lucrative industry on planet Earth, you know, learn more about money and then actually monetize the world around you. I mean, it's, it's nothing better than that. Speaking of monetize, Danny, please do tell, how much money did you make in the first five days of May? $124,000. One more time? $124,000. $124,000. But listen, bro, look, look, at, look at that. People up on there. By the way, let's, let's, let's take a look at this real quick. Man. Look, at, look at the uh, guest speakers. Look at that. President Bush, Kobe Bryant, Man. Jordan Peterson, Billy Bean. It's another level. I mean, Kobe Bryant just blew the roof, you know, off. And then... To actually know that you have uh, President George Bush coming to our event yeah. and you know all the Secret Service will be there. Yeah. Massive vetting was required to even get him in oh, the house. Talk, talk, talk to us about that vetting process. Oh gosh. Um, How hard is it? You, you're a cop, you're, you're law yeah, enforcement. Yeah, yeah. To get a president to come to I can't even imagine. I can't even imagine to have a, a, a president who's going to be surrounded by Secret Service had to do massive vetting of the CEO himself, uh, the company, its financials, its credibility, its ratings, all of that had to, was, was put into play here for this to happen. It wasn't just that, you know, Patrick, our CEO, paid him a fee, you know? This was, this is symbolic, not just for companies, you know, in the money industry in the United States. This is representative of how big we're gonna grow globally. It's great to be in business with you, man. He's in San Mateo, in the peninsula of San Francisco, yay area. That's right. Connect with Danny. I've referred a lot of business to him. Uh, partners, potential candidates for entrepreneurship. You have a huge office there that is uh, just about to just about to bust out. You already realize you're about. I might be running out of office space. I just moved yeah, in. Yeah, I just moved in, and we're almost about running out of space. I mean, the growth in the San Francisco Bay Area, one of the richest uh, uh, areas in in the state of California. We're 117,000 is considered low income. Uh, that's where our headquarters is at, Extreme One. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. oh. <laughs> well, let's meet my wife. Yeah, everybody. Yeah, yeah. If you don't know, that was good. Creepy. This is my wife, Sheena Sapal, baby. Yes. How does it feel to have your face coming up? Oh, hold on, hold on. Her face is going to come. Sweetheart, how do you feel about your face coming up in five, four, three, two? Boom! That's my wife, baby. Ah, she's on the drum and track, Dallas Cowboys here. Ah. It feels like it belongs there. <laughs> it does. Hey, I got a workout tonight, you know? Woo. Well, guys, appreciate you tuning in. Listen, this weekend, I want you guys to know that this Saturday, you got to ask yourself a question, but let's, let's, let's talk about money real quick. Look at your bank account and ask yourself, am I happy with what I can withdraw, that I can liquidate? Am I liquid? Are you happy with the amount they can do that with? If not, don't you think you need to make some changes? Because if you don't, the whole year goes by and guess what happens? Nothing. My encouragement to you on a Saturday night where a lot of people are just having fun. By the way, what an experience here. Our company rented out this whole facility just for us. We worked, we busted our tail, we got invited here. You deserve a company that takes care of you just like that. You deserve a company that pays you more than what you're worth. That what your family legacy is all about. You deserve that. But if the th here's the thing, are you listening? Are you willing to make adjustments? and are you willing to do the work? Otherwise, life doesn't change. And I want your life to change. We all need to change for the better. So, that being said, crazy speakers are in a convention 75 days. If you haven't followed me yet, I'm my smart guy there on Instagram, Twitter, obviously on Facebook. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. I appreciate you guys for listening on a Saturday night. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe.
It's our YouTube channel, My Smart Guy. Make sure you like our business page to be alerted the next time we upload our next video. With that being said, I'm at t Stadium, home of the Dallas Cowboys. <laughs> Where is he? Where's the creeper? Where's the creeper? Where's the creeper? <laughs> That's Maurice Hansberry. Maurice, Maurice. <laughs> what, ha what happened last month, bro? Southwest Airlines baggage handler. What happened to you as an entrepreneur? Last he made month? made 100K in the corner of a next $100 billion company. That's it. That's it. He made 100K. That's it. He made 100K. That's it. I I'm at it. And corner stock equity ownership. Because I got mentors like this. Who's in your corner? What's the five people that's around you? Are they pointing at your blind spots and get the next best version of you? Or are they telling you that you're awesome, that you don't need to do anything else? Or are they not trying to help you improve? This guy is. All these people in this stadium is. Who's in your corner? Who are you hanging around, man? Phenomenal, man. Phenomenal stuff. Aggress the guy. Oh, Come must grow. Boom. Must grow. Another one. So, Oak Brook, Illinois, Memphis, Tennessee. Memphis, Jamie, Tennessee. what happened to you? What happened to you in the first six months of last year? Oh, we hit our 100K ring. You, six you made, figures in six months. Six figures in six months. Five it's months is going to be taken. But who's counting? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody tomorrow. Five, right. six months. Right. Made six figures. And what happened two days ago? Two days ago, the owners of the company. We signed our paperwork. It was surreal. It was surreal. It all came to fruition. All the hard work, dedication, late nights, missing birthdays, funerals, uh, bar mitzvahs, have a baby? banquets. Have a baby? <laughs> had a baby. I had, I had a baby. I have an eight-month-old. So it, it all paid off. Like so, it was worth it. It was definitely worth it. Sacrifices were worth it. Sacrifices. Closeouts were worth it. Definitely worth it. Still worth it. Still worth it. Awesome. Everything's worth it. Follow them. Jamie Musgrove, they're in Memphis. Hansberry here is in our office in Oak Brook. And guys, thanks for tuning in. Until we meet again, continue to smart. Continue to smart. Be money smart today. today. Woo!